Hey guys, Artosis here. Uh, I wanted to talk about one of the units in Stormgate, uh, if I could really quick. You know, we've seen some reveals for a few of the units. We've seen a little bit of gameplay. But one unit really stuck out uh, to me as a unit that's going to be very hard to balance correctly. Let's go ahead and I'm going to play this a little bit. The unit in question is the Atlas. And I'll go ahead and pause and let you see exactly what I'm talking about. This is supposed to be a longer range siege unit, you know, kind of like siege tanks or something like that. And you can see here, right? Here are the atlases in the back. And they're going to shoot a projectile uh, that is going to do area of effect damage, right? So, like, maybe you're going to siege a location with these. Uh, maybe you're going to defend with these. Let's take a look real quick what this looks like exactly, okay? So you can see they're kind of shooting these balls. You can see a bunch of them now shooting all the balls towards that red circle. Now, uh, I, I'm i excited to try, like, all sorts of new units. You know, I feel like we, well, actually, now that I think about it, we have been using basically all the same units for in Brood War now 25 years and in StarCraft II, what, 12 years or something like that. So I'm really excited to try new units, but I think that this one in particular is going to be incredibly hard to make work effectively, right? So we're seeing in this battle that it's shooting out these projectiles and they're not too fast, okay? Let's play this for a second. You can see they're coming in. You can kind of see them coming. You can see where they're basically headed to. And honestly, what the thing that I see about this that's making me think, ah, I don't know if this unit's going to end up working out as intended, is when you get higher and higher in level, the pros, the strong players are going to be able to dodge these pretty well, right? So how do you keep this being an effective unit? Uh, if you're setting this up like on defense and those balls are coming towards me, I guarantee you I'm going to try to split out of there. When you look at pro gamer play, uh, like, for instance, in StarCraft II, dodging the Banelings and Disruptor hits, because that's kind of what it looks a little bit more like is Disruptors. Uh, I mean, the dodging is absolutely insane. So is something like this, which is sieged in position and shooting kind of a slow projectile, going to do much at higher levels? Like, maybe it becomes very, very strong at lower levels. Uh, but I think one of the problems as well is if you compare this to the Disruptor, Okay, the disruptor has skills on both sides, shooting the shot for, for the owner of the disruptor and then dodging the shot for the player playing against the disruptor. So, you know, it, I feel like that in and of itself balances the disruptor to some level when you're going up and down ranks on the ladder, right? So if you have two players that are, you know, very lowly ranked in a StarCraft II ladder match, uh, one guy is going to have a hard time shooting out the disruption balls correctly, and the other guy maybe is going to have a slightly harder time uh, dodging those. But at least you have to shoot them out. Well, when you look at something like this, how could you make this stronger at the pro level? Well, you might make it faster. Well, if the ball is going to come out faster, it starts resembling the disruptor a little bit more. But if it's auto-shooting these, it's going to become very difficult at the lower levels for players to dodge it correctly, right? In the slower way, maybe it's like a more more even unit at the lower levels, but at the top levels, I can't imagine pro gamers being hit by these. So anyways, just, I, I don't know exactly how this unit is going to turn out or anything like that, but this is the one unit that really kind of struck me as like, oh, I don't know how that's going to end up working. I can't imagine, uh, you know, those, those landing, if Bjorn is playing this game, landing on his Marines, right? Uh, but anyways, that was just some quick thoughts. Let me know what you think below in the comments uh, about the Atlas. Do you think that this, uh, the way that it looks right now, is it going to hit those connections? Is it going to be a really useful unit at all levels, possibly overpowered at certain levels? I guess we'll see. Leave a comment below.